Tom's cabin. A young, very yeah. poor pair of yeah. farmer's children stood before the parish priest, received the sacrament of marriage, and returned to the boys' farm to set up housekeeping. Everyone down to the raid! These kids hillbillies, because we have no way of knowing what it means to live off the Hey, honey, go on, not now. And about a hundred dollars cash a year. But to this couple, Sissy Laurent and her brand Now, how much did this cost? Nothing, nothing at all. Shop. A legal letter. It's one of them legal letters I've heard about. A letter means either a death in the family or trouble with the law. Or maybe both. The rest is written in Braille. Good luck. $1,100. What the heck are dollars? Must have of a baggage car. Anyone with this much money has to be a criminal. But the check is perfectly good. It is a wedding gift to Sissy Loran from a man who has been dead for a century. You got that from just two words? I guess so. Go down already! And the Mardi Gras festival of long ago. We warned them that this is not a necessary, but many true lives are not to be great of the world. Holy crap! Oh, it's evil Mrs. Potts! Jeez. Dance all you please. Ugh. Ugh. Fall in love. <clears throat> However, 150 years ago, an invitation fell into the hands of a shrewd and shrewd named Julian Poydras, to whom the Mardi Gras ball was just an opportunity to meet the wealthy people of New Orleans. Behind oh, she rubbed her snot on me. Well, pick your poison. <laughs> Come here, you. <laughs> Well, we all gotta go sometime. <laughs> We've switched his wine with Folger's coffee crystals. Let's watch. Hey, get some pants on. Lysy well, London, I see France. <laughs> I didn't mean to see that. And so, there was wine, wine, more music, and the night went on. Are we dancing? Are we really here? More wine, more music. And undoubtedly, they fell in love. Oh my gosh, run, she's got a gun! <laughs> At dawn, Julian Poydra must have rented a carriage, for he took his sweetheart home. Far That's right, call him next day. To <laughs> and already, as they lived in a more romantic age than ours, he had proposed uh, and accepted... Hey, yo, oh, Uncle Remus, my knee's not an ink well. Forty days of Lent had passed. At last, the carriage stopped. What 
to the man <laughs> when he discovers she lives in a dilapidated shanty on the other side of a mud puddle. Hey, he's not a mud puddle. What does a man think, however pretty the girl? However Either way, she's mute. The girl, when the hot light yeah, that's why the conversation hasn't lasted the moment. Yeah. Dang, that's a nice place. Are we gonna? Uh, I guess we'll talk later. Goodbye. Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> I am friends. You plot and I scheme. The papers will say it was an accident. You say no one will ever find the body. You say she has nothing. It was charming. Hey. Why don't you play no more? Roll over, G good boy. I will turn to business. Ever since his first attempt to your life, you haven't been able to trust that hand like you used to. Ow, oh, who am I kidding? This will never go with my outfit. I can forget that Lent has now passed, and I neither wrote nor paid a farewell visit. I can forget those letters that came to me so often at the beginning. Oh, those are called bills, friend. return for me when the 40 days of Lent have passed is all I can think of. Wishing I had the dowry of a queen. Oh, why don't you crap in one hand and wish on the other and see which one piles up first? Your love for me. Yes, there were many letters at first. You did not come for me, but I know that some delay is responsible. Yeah, he was sleeping it off. Of course, cannot be your fault. Yes, one blind date and the chick thinks you dig her. There was that <laughs> I have been clinging to a fool's dream. There is nothing else to say. Goodbye. Goodbye. Why is it that a man can ignore a stream of passionate love letters with the greatest of ease, but a simple goodbye will drive itself into his brain? A thing keeps rising before you. You're humble. Oh, what a night! Late December 1763! Americas men live more honestly than at home. Marriage is love, not business. Sleep! At last, with a fearful sense of. I will not be baptized! But happiness that is ended, you return. <laughs> you will have this horse in my butt. <laughs> One year later, it is said that Julian Poydras returned to the cabin in the forest. And at this moment, he stepped into the great romantic legend that has surrounded his name ever since. This was the scene. Dang, I didn't think a body could lay like that. Oh, it looks like he was right for the reception. They already threw the garter. Ooh. Her name forgotten. That's a weird On name. The stone cross, yeah. he raised over her head the single French word, dorme, sleep. Mmm, I have the one of those dorme pizzas, you know, with the extra it sauce and a lot of cheese. <laughs> oh, oh, bon yeah, cook it up nice. I like the deep dish. Oh, the yeah. It's good stuff. Her name is forgotten. Dealer and fine stuff. The name of Julian wow. Poydras yeah. was listed with the nation's great. They're French, French right? Poydras, yep. rudest merchant. 10, 20, 30 years. Yeah, wh Poydras, whatever you want. Indiana's richest man. Poydras Giant moldy marshmallows are rolled aboard. Poydras plantation. Five of them. 1,400 oh, slaves. Oh, half a million oh, acres of rich oh, land. Oh, and when New Orleans became American territory, it was Julian Poydras who served his nation in the South of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> and of Poydras, who had never married, it was said at last that he was dying. Finally. Yes, he was. His old stubborn will keeping him from the deathbed, Poydras was making up the accounts for the last time. Not a single American guessed that the old merchant was anything but a hard boy. Uh, that really takes it out of you. all wrong. Or as he cast up his final account, $50,000 here, half a million there, six ah, jump change. Here, he was struck with Dumb. an idea. <laughs> yeah, you think. They found an ancient <laughs> cash box here, <sighs> half filled with yellow letters dated half a century before and the faded mask. And he then wrote into his will one of the most important <sighs> testaments of our history. 
But for rich old Congressman Poydra himself, the books were also closed. Yeah, yeah, I still get it. Yeah. And remembering it as it must have looked Hey, old oh, silver, away! <laughs> a half century before. They found him lying on the floor of his room. Soaking in it. twisted mask at the tips of his fingers. The same fate as well as all his other victims. Has been added a final claw. Na 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 na. Na na boo boo. <laughs> I do leave and bequeath.